Trails has over 1,700 trails listed in Tennessee. But what's the top 10? I've done over, seven, it's over 700 miles of trails in the past two years, and I'm here to share with you my top 10 hikes in the Volunteer State. Tennessee has it all. 57 state parks, 13 rivers, 874 waterfalls, the Smoky Mountains, the Appalachian Trail, the Cumberland Trail, the Savage Gulf, Big South Fork, Cherokee National Forest, oh, and bears, and deer, and armadillos. In this video, I'm gonna give you a little bit of everything and my list of the top 10 hiking trails in Tennessee. Let's kick off with number 10, Mushroom Rock. Many mushroom rocks exist in the world, but most of them are found in deserts and not wooded areas. That fact makes this mushroom rock quite different. Located near Chattanooga, there are a few different ways you can go to reach this crazy rock formation. I suggest that you avoid the private property trail that's on all trails and take the hike that's located off Suck Creek Road. Now that trail is a 3.6 mile out and back hike that has over 1148 feet of elevation gain. It's a pretty nice trail with one awesome bridge over Suck Creek. Be sure to make the pit stop, but don't make the mistake I did and go up a drainage ditch and break your camera. Yeah, that definitely happened. The approach to Mushroom Rock will amaze you. It's definitely bigger than the pictures. <laughs> okay, number nine, Laurel Snow Trail. This trail is one of the many in the pocket wilderness areas near Dayton, Tennessee. Now, while all the trails there are good, this one is definitely my favorite. There are two waterfalls on this trail, an amazing overlook, a few amazing overlooks, and a creek that you can swim in. This trail is really two different trails that use the same initial path. The trail eventually splits at the top of the ridge and you can decide to go left to see snowfalls or take a right to see Brian's Overlook. It's a choose your own adventure hike. And if you're feeling adventurous, you can combine both trails for a hefty 13 mile hike with over 1500 feet of elevation gain. I really love this hike, but be sure to watch out for timber rattlesnakes. Okay, number eight, Laurel Falls in the Cherokee National Forest. If I could fall in love with a trail, this would be the one. Yeah, I'm in love. Located in the Pond Mountain Wilderness near Johnson City, Tennessee, this hike will be over 4.6 miles long with more than 600 feet of elevation gain. Quite modest. Most of the trail follows Laurel Fork. You'll get to hear the sound of a beautiful babbling creek along the gorge. And then you'll get some epic cliffs surrounding you as you hike. At the end of this trail, you will be greeted with an immense waterfall. Okay, well it's only 40 feet tall, but it is 50 foot wide, and that makes you feel quite small in its presence. Trail number seven, Ramsey Cascades. No lie, Tennessee has the most epic waterfalls in the United States. And if you're looking to be amazed, then Ramsey Cascades is the trail for you. Located in the Great Smoky Mountains, this trail is an eight mile out and back trail with over 2,100 feet of elevation gain. I definitely consider this trail very doable, but it's also hard. So bring your hiking poles, especially for the way down. Save your knees, please. My favorite part of this trail is the final approach to the waterfall. There is literally nothing else like it in Tennessee, especially if you go after a good rain. The waterfall itself is over 100 feet tall. Now talk about epic. Trail number six, Window Cliffs. There are so many hidden gems across the state, but my favorite of the lesser known trails out there is this one near Cookville, Tennessee. The trail is a 5.3 mile out and back hike with almost 700 feet of elevation gain. The window cliffs themselves are a group of natural rock bridges at the top of a ridge that have windows on them due to erosion. The rocks are made out of limestone 
So I would avoid doing anything stupid. And then one day, these rocks will be gone. What makes this trail really fun is the fact that you have to cross Cane Creek 18 times. You heard me, 18 creek crossings. Some of those will probably be dry though. This trail also has an awesome 20 foot waterfall near the end that can be quite impressive. Okay, trail number five is Virgin Falls. And since we've been talking about waterfall trails, I cannot continue without mentioning one of the most epic waterfalls in the entire state. This waterfall kind of makes me feel like I'm in another country. Virgin Falls is located near Sparta, Tennessee. It's considered a pretty strenuous hike, but the trail is an out and back trail that totals over eight miles and has only 1,100 feet of elevation gain. There are so many sites on this trail. You have more waterfalls, a cave, and the overlooks. The Virgin Falls waterfall is 110 feet tall. And what's fascinating about this one is that it emerges out of a cave, falls into the ground below, and then disappears into another cave. Trail number four, the Fiery Gizzard. When I think of must-do hikes in Tennessee, I think of the Fiery Gizzard in the South Cumberland. This trail is considered one of the top 25 hiking trails in the United States by Backpacker Magazine. And for good reason. You have a bunch of options on the trail here, but I suggest you hike the entire thing point to point. That will total you 12.5 miles and get you over 1,700 feet of elevation gain. Along the way, you'll get to see beautiful features such as waterfalls, rock formations, and rapids. If you're lucky like me, <laughs> you might even get to see an armadillo. Yeah, Tennessee has those. This trail is hard, so I suggest that you camp overnight and then use the shuttle service the next day to get back to your vehicle. Or you can just hike the way you came. Okay, trail number three is the Stone Door Loop at the Savage Gulf. While we're in the South Cumberland, I have to mention the Savage Gulf. Every single trail there is amazing. The newly made state park boasts of having over 50 miles of hiking trails. I would recommend that you backpack the Stone Door Loop. This trail will take you on an adventure of a lifetime. You'll start out going to the Stone Door. It's a 10 foot wide chasm that is over 100 feet deep in the sandstone bluffs of Big Gulf Creek. There, you'll get some amazing overlooks as you would descend down into the gorge. Along the way, I suggest that you check out the spur to Ranger Falls. The waterfall is only 30 feet high, but its width will make you feel like you are standing in front of something massive. You also have the option on this loop to take a spur trail to see Greeter Falls along the way. I highly suggest it. There are variations to this loop trail, but overall you're going to be doing over 10 miles and close to 2,000 feet of elevation gain. Trail number two, Twin Arches. Moving from the south to the northeast part of the Cumberland is Big South Fork. The park has over 54 different trails according to all trails, but if I had to pick one, Twin Arches Loop would be the trail. This trail will give you an option to see the arches first or last on your hike. However you do it though, the trail will take you along over five miles of epic rock facings and give you a modest elevation gain of about 800 feet. The twin arches are two sandstone rock formations that are back to back. These are the largest arches in Tennessee and some of the largest arches in the entire world. The South Arch is the highest one measuring over 103 feet tall. The North Arch is 62 feet tall. Both of these arches are massive. The rest of the trail takes you through a vast gorge of rock houses and bluffs that are equally as beautiful and impressive as the arches. My number one trail is Mount LeConte. This trail is the most iconic trail in Tennessee and the Great Smoky Mountains. When you tell people that you hike, they 
always ask if you've done Mount Lacan. There are a few trails to get to its peak, but I'm going to suggest you take the Aloon Cave Trail to see it. Without visiting Myrtle Point, the Out and Back Trail is over 11 miles long and you get to do 3,000 feet of elevation gain. If you do this one, I'm going to say to push yourself to get to Myrtle Point. It adds only a little bit of mileage and elevation, but the views at the end are, in my opinion, the absolute best that you can get in Tennessee. The entire trail offers some of the best views of the entire Smoky Mountains. You get to see a loom cave, which isn't a cave, but it's more like a concave bluff that's over 500 feet tall. There's also numerous footbridges and a cool tunnel you can go through known as Arch Rock. There's a lodge near the summit and you get to go down a trail that looks like it came out of a fairy tale. There's a reason why everyone talks about this trail. Tennessee natives and tourists alike. And I agree, that's why I put LeConte as the number one hiking trail in Tennessee. Thanks for watching my video. Did you agree with me or did I miss a trail? In the comments below, tell me what you think. If you haven't already, be sure to like this video and subscribe so you can see some more awesome hiking content. Until next time, friends.